<sighs> okay, so, is it recording? Okay. So, today, um, I got a big baguette sandwich. This thing is like, it's like twice my head. And like, I have a big head, you guys. This thing was $5. I got it at Carrots and Daikon, I think, because I'm on my way to my grandpa's. And then I got four egg rolls. Good old egg rolls. I, I freaking love egg rolls. And then a mung bean milk tea. Yeah, this mung bean milk tea tastes kind of funky. I think I make a better one. And if I make a better one, that's like really good. Shoot, I'm gonna start with egg rolls because I got another story for you guys. So yesterday I had a story about how I got pulled over because I didn't turn my blinker on and he could have given me a warning like a nice cop, but he didn't at 8.30 in the morning, which is like, whatever, you know? So yesterday I vlogged it. That same day after I vlogged it, I got, I went to my grandpa's house to visit him like a good granddaughter. And then I had other stuff to like do with him or for him. Well, I had whatever. I was like visiting him for other purposes too. And so I park, okay? So he lives in Garden Grove and I don't know the street sweeping schedule in Garden Grove. So I park and I go in, I open the door and he goes, what's that noise outside? It's so loud. And it's the darn street sweeping's truck. So he's like, oh my God, like where'd you park? You gotta move your car. So I'm literally running out the gate and he, the truck already passed me, right? But then I noticed that the parking enforcement officer wasn't there. So I was like, okay, maybe I have a chance. So I get in my car and then the parking officer is like, wait. And then I got another ticket. Visiting my grandpa costed me $53. So he was like giving me a bunch of stuff and like, okay, well now it went down to like 52 and then 51. And I was like, it's still 53. Oh, you know what? And as I was like, and I was driving on the street in Garden Grove, I noticed the street sweeping truck, but it wasn't in a neighborhood. So I didn't think much of it, you know? No. And then, I swear I'm a really good driver, you guys. So what, Sunday? Oh yeah, and I kind of upload, okay, this is all gonna be messed up because my internet at home is like kind of off right now. I don't know what's wrong with it, but we haven't fixed it yet. So the days are gonna be off with the uploading. So Sunday, I got pulled over by police. Monday, I get a street sweeping ticket. Two tickets in a row, okay? And then that evening, Literally that evening, I took home. I took home. I took two two of my temple sisters home because they were over at our house helping us out. And driving 40 miles an hour, the light was green. There was a car in front of me, so I have to go the same speed as the car in front of me. You know, I can't like freaking go 45 and he's going like freaking 35. It's common sense. And so this car, this big big truck I was about to cuss this big truck decides decides to go into the next lane to the right lane and then cut me off flips me off like multiple times like she's flipping me off she doesn't she's not even looking at me in her mirror she just flips me off for like 20 seconds puts her hand back in flips me off again and then she zooms two lanes over to the right Well, she zooms two, over, two lanes over to the right. She went out of her way to go into the middle lane, to go back into the left lane, to go all the way back into the right lane. I don't get it. Freaking wackadoodle. I did nothing wrong. 
I went 40. Oh, I just spit. I went 40 miles an hour in comparison or with the car in front of me. You know what I mean? I don't understand. God, this thing is so freaking big. I'm gonna spill everywhere. I got the classic with me. It just has like cold cut meats. Oh. So two days in a row, I've been affected with friggin' ding-dongs. And now I'm driving again and it's Tuesday. I mean, I hope nothing happens, but like who knows what's gonna happen to me today? Hmm. There's like cucumber, pickled carrots, pickled daikons. You know, it's not bad. Mm. Oh yeah, and, and I need to go back to my grandpa's right now after I eat this. I woke up really hungry. It took me a whole hour to find what I wanted to eat. For $5 for this baguette, this could feed me lunch and dinner. The only thing I don't like, there's some parts of the bread, they're too like flaky. Mm. So good. What else happened? Mm. Yeah, I went to get avocado smoothies with my brother-in-law, my sister. And we got five cups. And they gave it to us in a cup holder. And then, like, one of them flew out of the cup holder onto the ground. But not, the whole thing didn't spill. But, you know, things just keep happening to me this week. Honestly, I don't even know if I've been, this is a lot, like crazy a lot. You're really getting your money's worth for this.
Okay, I'm gonna do one more bite. Mmm. Look how big this is, you guys. That's freaking humongous. I'm going to finish you later. I'm going to drink my mung bean. They put something in here that tastes kind of weird. I don't know what it is. Do they put, I don't know. It could be like extra pandan extract to make it like a good green. You know what I mean? Cause like this is a really bright green and I think I've tried it before. Y'all probably don't even care. Never mind. Mmm. <laughs> Egg rolls. Okay. Well, I'll keep you guys updated <gasps> if anything happens to me today. No. I told my friend, and she was like, man, you just gotta stay home the rest of the week. I was like, I, I can't do that. I have stuff to do this week, you know? Cheers. There's country music playing right now, quietly. I love country music. I freaking love it. <laughs> Okay, tap it out. Mm. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in the mung bean. But it's like very smooth. With a little bit of grains and I like the grains. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you guys. Thanks for listening to my tragic driving story. Oh my God, my car. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. I'll keep you guys updated if something happens to me today, which Buddha, please. Nothing today. Okay, bye.